Okay, so I know I've already posted a few times today, but I was like actually just so shocked and devastated to hear the news about Salman Rushdie today. So if you don't know, Salman Rushdie, who is like a worldwide acclaimed, just beloved author, people love him, love his books. I mean, he's made like an unknowable like impact on popular culture around the world, on the literary world. And he was at a literary event today in New York and he was um, stabbed literally 15 times, I think, in the neck, in the face, all around his body, in his liver. I mean, just absolutely horrible, horrible stuff. He's been in surgery from what I've gathered from different articles all day today. But the main thing that I'm so confused about is like, why did this event not have security? I mean, it sounds like the audience was huge. Like this was like a huge, huge audience. It was a public event. And I get that literary events like typically aren't the type of a thing where they're going to have like, you know, massive security because a lot of times it's like festivals, things like that. But this is someone who has had like a fatwa like against him for like for ages, like literally huge governments had come out there's like tons of people who have like said violent things against this man like why i just don't understand like why wouldn't this event have they didn't have metal detectors they had no sort of like screening for weapons and so this man that was able to like sneak in who was like a radicalized person who you know because a lot of people because of salman's book uh the satanic verses which many people um think that is like anti-islamic um you know there are a lot of, there's like a lot of like anti salman rushdie sentiment and like this man was you know radicalized by that sentiment and wanted to end this guy's life like it's just horrible it's horrible like the whole point of you know like the freedom of speech and like of the whole point of like being a writer is to to challenge our notions to how to like bring about conversations to the idea that we live now in a world where writers especially like in america are gonna be potentially killed for the things they write like to me my first thought was like wow that is the sign that like a society is collapsing like when they go after the poets when they go after the novelists when they go after the essayists and i know that this is like you know from you know beef that people have with his book from like decades and decades ago and that he's always kind of had this i know he like had a very low profile for many years and he just recently came back into the public spotlight I just, it's just horrible and it's really sad. I've met him a few times. He's a really lovely guy. He just, I just am so sad for him and his family that they're having to go through this. His publisher once sent me like an advanced copy of one of his books when I was living in New York to review on my Twitter. And I just like, you know, I've loved his writing and I've loved him for years. And just, you know, I just was, I don't know. It was just so horrifying. Like I know horrible things happen every day and we're like so desensitized by this point, but it just, this one, like, really stirred me. Just the, he was giving a speech at, like, a literary event, y'all. Like, a literary event. It's just horrible. Just so horrible.